Right, welcome to this next video. What I'd like to share with you is um, me getting a barcode scanner running on my ERPNX system. But before we get into the detail, I'd really like to encourage you to get to know the basics of barcodes and barcode scanners. If you already have it, of course, skip this. I had to do, do that. Just familiarize myself with the different codes, um, how it, how all the digits and segments fit together in the various coding formats. Of course, of particular interest was the uh, accuracy of these codes. And a study done by Ohio University compared the human error rate, which was about one error in 300 key keystrokes. To some of these codes, UPC was the worst, one error at best. There's the best and there's the worst. But of all of them, the UPC was the worst. Is what one error in less than a million. Code 128, which is the one I'm using, is one error in 37 million. And then data matrix can be as good as one error in almost a billion. So that's quite interesting. Uh, now, of course, what does a scanner do? It simply acts like a keyboard. All right, the interface is USB, Bluetooth. There's a variety of options. But essentially, your computer sees it as a keyboard. All right, so I'll show you a little bit, a way to test your scanner without even touching ERP next. There's a simple way of doing that. But let's get going with um, the video that I've made. Um, there's the my one workstation, which is right next to my storage bins. It's in fact the 3D printer. Uh, and I've started putting up the barcode stickers onto the storage bins. I actually use the SKU number as the barcode. Now, of course, how do you generate these stickers? I use a program called G-Label. Um, it's on Linux. I'm sure there's a Windows version. Otherwise, you can load the correct font on Excel or something. And you use the create barcode object. And you just put all your barcodes on the page. I put it in a format um, eight rows by three columns. Eight rows by three columns because that's the type of printing paper. The printing paper that's got the sticky labels on. It's in a format eight by three. Then you simply select the code. Enter the data and select the code, EAN or UPC or code 128, and it automatically generates the barcode for you. Uh, you can see there also it can generate QR codes as well. And then all that needs to be done is for you to print it out. Um, I'm actually printing it out on the, or printed it out on the laser printer. I'm sure the inkjet will do just as well. And there's the 8x3 paper that I'm using. There's the scanner. It's the, let me just freeze the video there. It's the Mindio CS2290. I'm not trying to say that's the best scanner. It, it seems to be reasonably um, priced for what it can do. Uh, as I encouraged you previously, just have a look at what codes it can scan, 1D, 2D, and all the different codes, um, if it's sufficient for your needs. All right. This one, this particular one, is a wireless one. Uh, right, let's, how we, do we test this beast? Just load LibreOffice or Excel or Word, and you scan a, um, a barcode, take it from your... Um, your margarine scan code or whatever <laughs> and if it puts it down onto the Excel cell like you would have typed it then it's working. Right, how do we do apply this in um, ERP Next? I'm going to use it by way of an example of entering the values on a purchase invoice. So we create a new purchase invoice there's all my purchase invoices, select new. And instead of entering the items um, by hand, 
I put my cursor on the scan barcode field and I simply scan in there. I scan the first item, then I scan in the second item, and then I scan in the third item, and it automatically fills up the table for me. All right, and that really is as, as simple as that. Um, another field, of course, where it can be used is, uh, for example, I should imagine in the manufacturing cycle. Uh, what do you do manufacturing? You have a ma manufacturing material request. Then, of course, you can go directly to a work order or you can generate a picking list. And then your work order and your job order, uh, job card. And during this, uh, the various cycles, you have to do material transfers. And instead of allowing the machine or ERP Next to do it automatically, you can actually log your operator um, or have your operator actually do this with a barcode scanner as well. And I just need to show you as well that um, what happens if you scan an item more than once. Let's just go back to the uh, invoice. Uh, remember, we've scanned each item once. So I'm going to scan item number two and three a few more times, and you'll see the quantities actually updates. Right, so it doesn't add it to the bottom of the list. It actually intelligently updates the quantities um, as many times as you scan the item. Now, that's all very romantic, um, but how does ERP Next know um, which code belongs to which items? Rather simple, you set it up. As I said to you, I use the SKU numbers, you can use anything uh, as long as you link it to the correct item. So you go to your item list. Not all my items are set up because this is only my test system. It's not my my real system. Uh, I know 550 plates have been linked up. So you go to the item and there's a barcode code field. And you simply populate that barcode in there, whatever number. If it's a UPC number, it's very specific. You've got to start off with a specific character, and you've got a check bit, which you, go, which you have to go and calculate. All right, so it's going to be a 4, uh, 000, 000, 000, 044 type of code, type of thing. You've got to go and calculate that thing. But whatever code is in here, if that code is scanned, it's going to link it to this particular item. So um, that's how it does the uh, linking of the codes to the items. I think that's about it. hope that was help, helpful to you in some way.